Zombies and cannibals used to be something only seen in movies, but now it seems like they're much closer to reality than we thought. Have you ever heard of the term seppuku? More details in this original post. Just a few days after the face-eating guy in Miami, now there's a guy in New Jersey who performs seppuku, which is the act of cutting open one's belly and threw his intestines at the police. Maybe zombies are taking over the world. On May 27th, police in Hackensack, New Jersey, got a call at 10 p.m. from someone saying a 43-year-old man by the name of Wayne Carter had a knife and was threatening to hurt himself. When police arrived, Carter stood up and stabbed himself repeatedly all over his body. He then allegedly threw some of his exposed intestines at the officers as they tried to approach him. The officers then had to call the Bergen County SWAT team to help subdue Carter. He is now in critical condition and has had a history of psychiatric problems. Oh yeah, who needs to watch movies when reality proves to be much more interesting? But there is more to the story. Here's the rest of this original post. The U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention released a guidebook for fighting zombies, and Google put out a zombie map. Then in January, the Shenzhen government issued a self-defense guidebook to fight against aggressive bio-creature attacks. While the U.S. Center for Disease Control and Prevention officially announced a zombie apocalypse is not upon us, according to the LA Times. However, they also released a handbook called Preparedness 101 Zombie Apocalypse. Man, I can't wait to hear what Chinese microbloggers have to say about this. Does this mean the 2012 doomsday prediction is true? There seems to be so many strange stories lately. Apparently, some experts do claim that a zombie apocalypse is plausible in the near future. According to Cracked.com, brain parasites, neurotoxins, brain disorders, neurogenesis, and nanotechnology all show potential threats of creating such a catastrophe. But no, this was not part of the Mayan end of the world predictions, or at least not that we know of. Here's another comment. What's wrong with Americans out there? Face eating and intestine throwing men all in one week? It does seem like Americans have gone a little cuckoo lately, but China is no stranger to bizarre zombie-like stories. Just in February of this year, a 95-year-old Chinese woman climbed out of her coffin after being pronounced dead for six days. Liu Xiufeng was found motionless in her bed after suffering a head injury in her house. Neighbors tried CPR on her, but to no avail. But just a day before the funeral and six days after being nailed in a coffin, Leo was found sitting on a stool in her kitchen while cooking. She claimed that she had slept for a long time and after waking up, she was hungry. Now on to our last comment. We should really prepare sunflowers, green peas and corn. And this poster would be referring to the popular game in China called Plants vs. Zombies from the makers of Bejeweled and Peggle. In this action strategy game, zombies are about to invade your home and the only way to stop them is to grow plants. There are extra points if you can grow some specialized plants and vegetables. So in the case of the intestine throwing wacko in New Jersey, all the police had to do was throw some green peas at him. Simple. Up next on the radar, the co-creator of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles turns 50.